Well, usually there is a no dogs allowed policy at most schools, but this canine has been hired to work at a local high school. She brings a special talent, but many of you might wonder why the school felt the need to bring an explosive sniffing dog into that building. Paula Tutman sniffed out the story, joins us with some answers. Paula. Hey, Karen, here's the first thing I want parents to know. There was no specific reason to start this program right now. Very important to get that out up front. This has been in the works for really more than a year, and it really is about a school district that's looking for proactive ways to really amp up its security. The newest staffer at Avondale High School is Ms. Lucy Walker. Wait, you want to get it? The question is why? Why would a school district with 3,500 students and seven schools decide it needed an explosive sniffing dog on staff and on site whenever high school is in session? Because I think it's another arm of protection. It's another arm of prevention that we have for our students and our staff. While there was no precipitating singular event that triggered the need for a bomb and explosive sniffing dog, it's one of her favorites. The superintendent needed only look at the news and decide to alpha test the concept at his high school and that it would be a good use of a portion of his security budget. The program for both Lucy and her handler, Lisa, is $80,000 a year. As the students are coming in, the dog is in and around as students are filtering through and coming in. Uh, the dog is also uh, present near the front entrance ways when we have visitors coming into the building. During the day, the dog is making rounds through the hallways in and around classrooms. I know classrooms to go to. Bathroom areas, that type of thing. Lucy is a certified explosive sniffing dog trained by Elite Detection Canine. Come on, baby. Ready? If Lucy detects anything in the building or coming into the building, she alerts her handler, who quickly and quietly sets in motion a series of security protocols that includes on-site police liaisons bringing in resources to find out what Lucy sniffed out. Without creating panic, or even likely, much notice from the student body. There's so many hidden places in public venues where explosives and, and firearms can be hidden that the human eye can't detect. There's, and so the beauty of a canine is their nose is able to detect it. And it turns out that Lucy has several different jobs. There was a young lady that was very upset just before you had arrived, I got called away from, that had had a minor little meltdown from stress in the classroom mm -hmm. and she was out in the hallway and I got called um, for Lucy to come and be able to help calm her down and all she did was put her arms all the way around her cried in her for a couple seconds and Lucy sat by her side and was kissing her and just let her do her thing and then we went back on a, went back to work yeah, just went right back to work. Listen, she hasn't been on the job full time for long, but already she's proving to be pretty invaluable in a lot of ways. Keep in mind, now this isn't this is an alpha test. This is a brand new tool, so to speak. It's possible that Lucy could even be rotated to other schools or indeed possibly even more dogs be brought in. My understanding is there are also other school districts in our region who are actually looking to try getting a Lucy of their own so they can test out this kind of program. Karen. Really an interesting way to use your resources to keep the kids safe and then also comfort them, like you said in that last example. Yeah, that, yeah, kind of unintended good consequence. Yeah, most definitely. Thank you, Paula. We appreciate it.